Hi, I'm Leaf. Recently, a member of my Discord that goes by Prostakrut made a post including a solution for saving positions via hotkeys in Deadlock. The post for the scripts is very detailed and worth checking out. It contains a lot of information on other useful console commands for practicing. I also made a new version of my practice config that works with this method. The description has links to a Google Drive for the scripts as well as my Discord. To get things set up, open Steam and go to Deadlock's properties. In general, add the con debug option to launch items. This will cause the console outputs to be logged to a text file in your Deadlock folder. Now either navigate to your Deadlock folder or right-click Deadlock again on Steam and go to Browse Local Files. The PowerShell script should be placed in this folder. If you place it anywhere else, you'll have to manually change the paths in the file. Next, navigate to Game, Citadel, Config, and place the other three files there. If you already have an auto-exec file, you'll need to merge the two. Most of the keybinds are located in the Pause Tools file. By default, F8 enters the testing map, F9 changes teams, F10 sets up the testing overlay and initializes the map, F12 will toggle the HUD, O will save position and H will restore it. Note that simply running git pause exact in the console at any time will also save the position for the restore bind. In the edited leaf tools config, there are still binds to cycle spots in the lists. Type leaf help in console to view the lists. Typing any of them will load them, and pressing the next and previous binds will teleport to them in sequence. The save hotkey should then be pressed once you arrive at the spot you want. Now for running the PowerShell script. Depending on your Windows versions and settings, you can either double click it or right click and select run with PowerShell. It may prompt you with a yes or no to actually run it depending on your security settings. If you want to ensure the script starts whenever you start deadlock, there are a couple strategies. The method I would recommend is to create a batch file and redirect the Steam launch options to it. An example startup.bat is provided in the Google Drive to be placed in the deadlock directory next to the PowerShell script. This batch file contains two lines which start the game and then the script. The execution policy is set to bypass to prevent the script from prompting you. By changing your launch options for deadlock to startup.bat and including this command option, launching the game on Steam will now instead run this batch file which starts the game and the script. When you close the game, a command window will be open running the script. You can close it without consequence. Because PowerShell scripts can do many things, I lastly wanted to go over the script line by line so you can feel safer about it. The first three lines establish file paths the script uses. The root path is by default determined by the folder the script is run from. This next line is a regular expression. A regex is a system for pattern matching that is used here to find the line containing setPauseExact in the console log when it's returned by the getPause command. These lines test for the existence of the save position file and initialize one if needed. The last block begins watching the console.log file. Whenever lines are added to it while the script is running, they'll get checked against the regular expression. When the set pause return is found, that position is then saved in the last pause.cfg file. It also manipulates the string to convert set pause exact into regular set pause, since the first one will also enable no clip and deadlock, which can be inconvenient. And that's it. Feel free to reach out if there are any issues with it. Thanks for watching, and may your practice be faster than ever. Prostakrut. Prostakrut. Pros Prostakrut. 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 I'm sorry, man, I tried.